ABC Kinder Teach presents an interactive version of Wimberly Worried by Kevin Hinks. Ooh, she does look like she's worrying in that picture, doesn't she? Wimberly worried about everything. Look at those dark clouds over her head, which sometimes means people are worried about stuff, but it also could be dark clouds. Big things I wanted to make sure you were still here so she shines a flashlight on her mom and dad while they're sleeping so they don't look that happy about being woken up by having somebody shine a flashlight on them little things see her juice class spilled and her little stuffed animal is on the ground and things in between mama what if I shrink I think she's worried that if she's in the tub too long, she might shrink. Mm, nah, probably not. Wimberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. And she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry and the grandmother has a sweatshirt that says go with the flow which means don't worry at home Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard what if it falls on our house and the crack in the living room wall what if it gets bigger and something comes out of it well she doesn't have to worry about that does she and the noise the radiators made what if there's a snake inside? And let me show you a picture of a radiator, a real radiator, in just a minute. This is a real radiator. And what happens is, is hot water comes in through there and goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And, and then goes out the other end. And when it does that, it makes the room warm. At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings, too rusty, and the bolts on the slide, too loose, and the bars on the jungle gym, too high. And always she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. I'll wait for you, Petal. She's in the washing machine. She must have been dirty, so the mom or dad were must have put it in the washing machine to clean it. And uh, there is a jungle gym. There's lots of different types of jungle gyms, but there's a jungle gym. And those are the bars that she's talking about being too high. And there is a chain, two chains on a swing. She says, oh, those must have been too rusty. And there's a bolt that she's worried about was not, was too loose. And, and the, I think it was the slide she was worried it might fall over because these bolts were not loose, which means that nut there, she was worried about they might, have fall, might be ready to fall off but not probably a real problem. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, which means she was very worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. I think she thinks that she keeps rubbing Petal's ears that they'll just disappear because she just rubbed them all off. On her birthday, Wembley worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wembley worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. And one of her friends says to another friend, this is the best present ever. And the friend says, I wish I had my birthday today. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. 
See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wembley worried because she was the only one. So first of all, she was worried that everybody was going to be a butterfly. And then she was worried that she was the only one. And she, so she thought maybe she didn't have the right type of costume, I think. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. And the grandma's pointing to this sign that says, Take it as it comes, which means don't worry. Soon, Wembley had a new worry. School. Wembley worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. Her dad tells her, I loved school. By the time the first day arrived, Wembley had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher's mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I ate the snack? What if I have to cry? So she was worried about many, many things. And when I talk, when she talks about stripes, talking about a shirt that has a stripe on, we'll see it, uh, her stripes in just a bit. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wembley worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Grandma says, have fun. While Wembley's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wembley looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Ah, Wembley, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. Wendy, look at that. Wembley's wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. Wembley was ho is holding a doll, too. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other, which means they looked at each other for just like a second and then looked away and looked at each other and then looked away. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, which means during the whole morning, Wembley and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. They're sitting in that little basket, the little uh, stroller. Wembley worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wembley knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Beecham as the students walked out the door. Wembley turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. And that's kind of funny because Wembley worried all the time. And then she told Mrs. Peachum, don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. So she's telling Mrs. Peachum for her not to worry. That is really surprising for Wembley.